Have you ever been working on a part and wish you could get a little bit more reach out of your Z-axis without compromising tool rigidity? Well, today's tip helps our V250 users do just that. I'm Q, and this is Pocket NC's Q-Tip Tuesday. While pocket NC machines typically have access to more features on a part than a traditional three-axis machine, there are still times when certain features can't be reached. When this is due to a z-axis limit, specifically a negative z-axis limit, oftentimes you can get away with just sticking your tool out a little further. The downside to that method is that the further out this tool sticks from the spindle, the less rigid it becomes. That, of course, will cause chatter and other issues. Now, as some of you may have already noticed, our V250 spindle is mounted with a system very similar to our ER40 call fixture. Not only does this system allow us to take the spindle out for maintenance and repair, it also allows us to reposition the spindle if we need to. So, if we are short on travel by half an inch or less, we can simply slide the spindle out of the collet to gain that extra reach. For example, if I was getting a negative Z travel limit error, and after using the pocket NC simulator, I determined that I needed to pull my tool out about a quarter of an inch, I could loosen my collet using the ER40 collet fixture wrench, pull the spindle out about a quarter inch, and then tighten the collet back down. Giving me the extra quarter inch of reach I needed without having to stick my tool out any further. Now there are a few things to know when using this trick. One, we don't recommend using anything but our ER40 collet fixture wrench to loosen the collet. So if you don't have one of these, please contact us so that we can get you one. Two, never slide the spindle out more than half of an inch or to the end of the wrench flats. Three, after you've tightened everything back down, make sure that the spindle lever points up when in the locked position. So, as long as you keep those few things in mind, this is a great way to get a little extra reach out of your V250 Z axis. I think that about does it for this tip. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out at any time. Until next time, happy machining.